terrible. He needs to get off the streets. A family wants a suspected killer caught after he's connected to multiple murders in Metro Detroit. We're going to hear from that family in just a moment. But first, police want to know if you know that suspect's whereabouts. He is 40 year old Ken Kenyell Brown. Here's a picture of him. The U.S. Marshals say he's wanted in connection to at least five murders, three in River Rouge, two in Detroit. Most recently, Detroit police have named him a person of interest in the shooting death of a man found in a vacant home overnight on the city's east side. The U.S. Marshals say he is dangerous and they want him off the streets. We need to find this guy. I cannot stress it enough. Police think he is connected to the murder of a graphic artist in Detroit on Thursday. Amir Thaxton was shot to death in a shop on 8 Mile. As Sean Lay reports, the family wants to know why he was targeted. Tonight, family members of Amir Thaxton are in absolute shock. They say they just don't understand. They don't understand why he would be targeted and why someone would want to take him away from his family. Yeah, it's the only thing I have. All Angie Brand has left of her cousin are memories and this T-shirt he made for her business, plus a video of them together inside his graphic T-shirt shop next level apparel on 8 Mile. Next level customer apparel, we do all their shirts, whatever she need, whatever you need, you need to come holler at us, 8 Mile, and where are we at, what, between Kelly and uh, Hayes. It was in that shop Thursday night where Thaxton was working late and was shot to death, police believe, by Kenyell Brown. Thaxton's family is still in shock. Go to work and you don't come home. Amir Thaxton had three children. The family wants to know why anyone would target him. Kenyell Brown was already on the run, police say, for three homicides out of River Rouge when police believe he likely tried to rob Amir Thaxton. Well, these are people who have families. These are, you know, parents, a father, a grandfather, you know, brothers, nephews, you know. You just, you're taking people's family members. Like, how dare you? And tonight, family members telling me this is all too fresh, too raw. They're trying to process it all. So right now there are no memorial services or vigils set yet for Amir Thaxon to honor him. We'll certainly let you know when we know. In downtown Detroit, Sean Lay, Local 4.